Hi guys, today is a huge day. It is January 10th, 2023, and we are bringing home baby. My boyfriend and I are expecting a baby in January. It was a complete shock to both of us. I am 13 weeks. What are you doing? No. Are you watching me film? This is baby's room. My whole entire life literally has been changed. I had my baby and he is currently not home yet and he's been in the NICU for about a month. I feel like I should be with him all the time. We also put up the bassinet today. Oh my God. And they keep saying like he knows that you're his mom. Like I don't want him to feel like loved and and I didn't leave her, you know? I feel like he's gonna be able to come home pretty soon. I just trust God's timing. I don't wanna ever have him come home when he's not ready. Baby has been in the NICU now for 77 days. He was born three months early. His due date was actually January 18th and he was born on October 25th. It's been a ride, it's been a journey and we are going to go pick him up here in a little bit and bring him home. I can't believe this day has come. I feel like I've just been not in life, if you will. I was telling Xander the other day when we got the news that he could come home. I feel like I'm able to like live again, like I'm fully present. It's definitely been a very eye-opening experience. I feel like we've gained a lot of perspective and strength to take us forward to becoming like the best parents that we could be and the best family unit that we could be. Today is the day, like we're bringing him home. Hello? Hey, is this Renee? This is she. Good news, they put in the order and so whenever you guys wanna come here, I can go ahead and go over the paperwork with you guys and the teaching and then we'll have you out of here. Okay. That means we can take him home? Yeah. He's <laughs> yours. Ooh. You ready? Whoa, yeah. We are ready. I have like the biggest butterflies. Like I'm like, my stomach feels like we're about to go on a roller coaster or something. I feel like I'm gonna cry. He's gonna like be able to sit, like get outside for the first time. Outside of his room for the first time. He's gonna be a little shocked. The light's gonna be different. Hopefully the air just seems crisp and fresh. And he's gonna see plants, mm -hmm. other things move. He's never seen anything but people moving. <clears throat> Let's go get him. <laughs> are you ready to have a little brother? You're gonna be a big sissy. Noah, are you ready Noah girl? Are you ready, Noah? Good girl. Got the stroller ready. All the donations for the clothes. My purse. I need my purse. I'm forgetting my purse. Wait. All right. Oh my gosh. Our last childless apartment. There was always going to be a childless apartment. You're gonna take off your leads, puppy. Mm. Hi, Papa. You're gonna be wire free. Oh, oh my gosh. Done. <laughs> I haven't seen that ever. What do you say, Bob? Oh. Whoa, no wires. What do you think, huh? He's like, oh wow, this is you interesting. Think? You're free. Mm -hmm. Nothing's pulling at you except us pulling you home. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. How does it feel, Z? No wires. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. how, how do we get this from where we were I 11 weeks ago? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. As soon as we get home, Bubby, you can eat all you want. How exciting is that? Oh my gosh. Are you ready, Bobby? Welcome home, my bumpy. Well, first I think we're, we are gonna use this and then just leave him strapped and we'll just take him off. It's gonna be so nice. Welcome home, my bumpy. Nova, come here. Come right here. Can you sit? Can you sit? Be gentle, Nova. Gentle, Nova. Gentle, Nova. 
Let's do a tour. You ready? We're gonna start over here. Welcome to your bedroom, Bubba. Look at your bedroom, Bubby. Is he Cosmo and Wander? He's sleepy. <laughs> Look at Nubby. starts crying. She's like, huh? I'm gonna put you on here. Your changing table, Bubba. Whoa. Ooh. It's so tiny. <laughs> Happy to be home, Bubby. Look at how happy he is. Are you gonna smile, my Bubby cake? There you go, Bubba. Welcome home. I love this outlet talk that says he's like Max Peaceful. <laughs> Welcome home, Bub. <laughs> no, but that's such a good gentle. You know, you were meant to do this. Best protector ever. This is his name reveal. This is Bryson Kenneth Clark. Xander's middle name is Kenneth. So that's where his middle name comes from. This is what Bryson. Do you think, no. She's been a little curious all day. He just woke up from his little nap on a swing. And I think we're gonna do some tummy time. So that's to kind of like help him with his head movement, putting his hands together. Grabbing like, things. Grabbing things and pulling it back to his face. But yeah, I feel like this transition has been really easy. We were just talking to my mom how we've kind of been doing this already for three months just with really 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 experienced nurses so we've gotten to learn a lot of this stuff he's on a routine and we've done things before coming home with him yeah i used to mind his name is also bubba cakes we call him bubba cakes a lot you want to do some tummy time bryson i think he's ready so yeah his name is bryson he's got these big blue eyes just like renee <laughs> is that mama's camera puppy are you gonna smile for your mama <laughs> hey puppy <laughs> So we're not just doing it for fun. They say, we work with like a occupational therapist. We work with a physical therapist. So and a speech therapist. Spe like he gets massages all the time. This is really good for development for preemies. This is to kind of wake him up a little bit. But he just went to the bathroom. So let's change his diaper real quick, and then we'll do something. Let's try it anyway. There we go, Bubba. Let's take your passy. Can you do that? Let's get one arm this way and one arm that way. Bubba, you're okay. Is he going home? Yes. Good job, Baba. You're gonna lift. Reach your hands. Yes. Good job, Baba. Come on. You can do it. <gasps> Yay! Good job, Baba. Lift, lift. Lift. Lift that head. Woohoo! Good job, Bubby. Look at that head lift. Woohoo! Good job, my Baba. Yes, good job, Bubba Cake. So this requires like a lot of energy for him. That's so like a workout. So we'll probably do. Whoa, look at that head lift, Bubba. Probably like 10 minutes we do, like 10, 15 minutes, because it's very tiring for him, and then he'll probably eat. So there's like these certain cues that he does when he's hungry. Like, see how he's like eating his hand? That's a cue. There's things called rooting. So if you go like this with your finger, and he's like, 
like that. That means he's hungry, obviously crying and stuff like that. But yeah, he's doing so good. Look at that bubba. Are you done? He said, I'm done. Are you hungry? I know. Thank you guys for being a part of this whole experience and journey with us. It's been amazing. We're gonna spend the night with him for the first time, which is gonna be really cool. At home, in our bath net, I'm actually terrified. If you've ever been through like a NICU experience, they're hooked up to monitors 24 seven. They have the best care, like doctors, nurses, all that. So to have none of that tonight and it all be on you is terrifying. But I feel very confident in how they've, you know, helped us out and with him and everything like that. I'm excited to go sleep next to him. We have a bassinet next to the bed. Thank you guys for all of your prayers during this extremely difficult time. He is such a miracle baby. The last three months have been extremely trying for both of us. You know, having him home is just something that I feel like we deserve as parents. Like. We've done everything in our power to be the best parents that we could have been through everything. This little one's a trooper. He came out like so tiny, you guys. He was two pounds, seven ounces. Three months early and he's grown to be this beautiful six pound, 10 ounce baby. And being able to like leave without oxygen, to leave without any sort of scariness in terms of preemies. Like there's a lot of things that preemies typically have that he kind of skated free with. The fact that I was at the most amazing hospital during that time and they, you know, got everything that I needed despite having a premature baby. It's just all such a blessing. And I was just sitting up there looking at the sunset and looking at inside our home and the reflection of, you know, church on and the sunset and his, you know, room. I just feel, so incredibly blessed and i'm so happy i feel home like i feel like he's home but i'm like home now because he's here with me it's such a weird feeling to have a baby grow inside of you the experiences that i had to grieve because of him being premature it was definitely like i said it's like a grieving process he's just such a trooper he's such a strong one i love him so much like i can't describe to you guys the love i have for this little boy and i'm so ready to start living again you know i feel like my life is on pause and i'm just back to better actually i'm better this is so much better than anything i could have ever experienced if i you know, told you a year ago that I'd have a baby, have a faithful relationship, be in love, have a beautiful home, despite the circumstances and everything that we've been through. It's such an incredible story. And I hope that I can share our story and help comfort those who are going through these times. There are so many babies in the NICU, and from a lot of different reasons, there's a lot of sadness that comes from that. And But there's so much good that also comes from it. It was such an eye-opening experience. I wanna do like a sit-down video of some questions about like the NICU and our experience. I think it's important to share and like I said, hopefully connect with somebody. Thank you guys for watching and caring and praying and being there for our family. I'm going to enjoy this little night with him. What's to come, Bubba? I don't know. We were watching a video clip of when Xander held him the first time. He was so small. You look like your daddy, but you have my eyeballs. Alright guys, I'm logging out. Thank you for watching. See you soon.